Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Stripe with Shiro in 2023. Integrating Stripe, a popular payments processing platform with Shiro, a leading accounting software, can streamline your financial operations and help you manage your business transactions more efficiently. So in this tutorial, all in this guide, we'll show you or walk you through the process of setting up this integration, enabling you to stream seamlessly transfer transaction data from Stripe to Shiro or Xero. Uh, so let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end, so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and set up a Stripe accounts. If you don't have already Stripe accounts, head to uh, the Stripe website and sign up for a new account. To do so, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow the tutorial section. Once you do so, go to the CRL section, simply type stripe.com and hit the enter button. That should take you to the home screen or main screen of Stripe website. If you have an account, make sure to go and log into it at the top right corner. For you, uh, for me, as you can see, you find dashboard here because I'm already logged into my account. And if you don't have an account, make sure to go and click on start now to log in or to create an account, new account for yourself. If you don't know much about Stripe, you can, of course, always scroll down, read more information about it, uh, familiarize yourself with the website, so you'll be sure that you want to open, like, as an example, an account on Stripe. And if you're sure that you want to do so, of course, simply go and create your account or log in into your account if you have one. So you will have to go and access the dashboard. Then you will have to activate the payment on Stripe so you'll be able to connect it with any website that you want, not just Shiro. So from here, of course, I will simply have to click on activate payments once you create your account or just log in into your account. If you didn't activate it, yes, you'll find this even here. So simply click on activate payments. And from here, you'll have to follow some steps to activate that payment. You'll simply have to verify your business, add your bank account, secure your account, add some extras, and review and finish. If you've already made one of those before, as you can see, you will find a check mark on it. So on verifying business, you will have to enter the business type, business details, fulfillment details, public details, on add your bank as an example, you'll have to do some steps. So simply follow the steps provided by there and you will be good to go. Now you'll have to go and set up a Shiro account. And if you have an already Shiro account, you'll have to go and create one on the Shiro website. So go and open a new tab, go to shiro.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, this will normally take you to the home screen or web screen of this website. Again, if you have an account, just simply go and click on login, then simply login into your account from here. If you don't have an account, you can always go and click on try Shiro for free. And as you can see, you'll have to simply fill those informations here. So let's just fill them out here. So as an example, let's start by the first name. As an example, I'm just going to type test and the last name will be like uh, something like that. So email should be like something like that. Or let's just go with another email here at gmail.com. And of course, the phone, I'm just going to type like some random things here. Please choose a location. So I'm just going to choose my country. And I'm not a robot, of course. And I've read and agreed to the terms of use, privacy, notice, offers, details, and make sure to read all of those as an example. So you will not have any problem with them in the future. So make sure to read them all. And once you're done, you can even check this option too. So you can please don't send me marketing communication if you want. You can check this option, then click on confirmation. Once you do so, as you can see, the next step is going to be simply verifying your accounts. You'll have to simply click on the link on the email to verify your account, then log into your Shiro account to start exploring features. So go and open your email uh, provider as an example. So from there, as you can see, you'll find that they send you here something. Go and click on that. And as you can see from here, I'm just going to type as an example a password and click on activate your account. So we'll have to wait a bit. And as you can see, my account is activated right now. Once my account is activated, I'll be able now to add the payments method or the Stripe payments method to, to it right now if I want to. So as you can see here, I'm just going to enter like the business name and country of me. The, do you have employees? No, just me. I'm not a robot. And start, start trial industry. I don't know. I'm just going to type music and click on start trial. And we are going to be good to go. So just close this and close this. And here we are, we are on zero. So now we can of course choose a plan if we want to, but we don't care at the moment. What we'll have to do is simply install the Stripe integration app. 
once you're logged into your Zero account, go to the apps or integration section and then search for the official Stripe integration app and install it. So you can scroll down as you can see you find explore apps that connects with Zero. Click on setup now and explore more apps from here. Let's just wait a bit until this loads. So go here to search apps industry or task or something like that and simply type Stripe. And as you can see, you'll find this here. So Stripe's payments and click on that. As you can see from here, you'll be able to read all the descriptions about it if you want to, see the reviews about it, how people are into, uh, saying about it, and simply go and click on Get the App. Once you do so, of course, this will take you to this page. I guess, yeah, you'll have to change the region maybe or something like that. Let's try to log in again into our accounts and see. I don't know if they have a problem with the Stripe and that region. So let's just see again, explore more apps. Go here, Stripe, click on that, look for here, as you can see here, find Stripe and click on it. So I guess they have a problem with the region, so simply go and if Stripe like works on your region, you will probably not have this problem, but if it's not, you will have this problem. So simply once you click on get the app and you have no problem on your region, as you can see, so Stripe makes it easy to access payments from debit card, credit card, Apple Pay, and Google Pay for online invoice uh, sends from zero, and you can get, of course, get paid faster. So getting started, of course, you will have to, uh, once it's installed, you will have to simply go to your general settings and click on payment services, then click on get started on the right hand, as you can see on Stripe, to add to your account. Make sure then, as you can see, to click on sign up for Stripe to set up your new account and follow the instructions to complete the process. And if you already have an account, uh, select I have a Stripe account after Stripe 2 and log in into your Stripe account. You can even explore how to set up a Stripe account because uh, if you don't know how, and as you can see, you'll simply have to follow the steps from here. So they are the uh, steps provided here. I don't even need to show you. So you'll simply have to go to Stripe. Click on get the app. Once it's downloaded, you'll have to follow the step. Go to general settings, click payments uh, services, click on get started and log in into your account and you will have no problem. Then you can go back to Stripe, make sure to enable the test mode and make sure to do a test data transfer uh, or deposit uh, test transaction to see if the integration is working correctly. If it is working correctly, you will be good to go. You can simply enable the live now uh, sync instead of the test mode and you'll be good to go so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you have successfully connected stripe with shiro enhancing your business finances efficiency by automating the transfer of transaction data this integration saves you time and reduce the risk of manual errors allowing you to focus on growing your business by following these steps, you've unlocked a powerful combination of payments processing and accounting tools that you can help or that can help you stay organized and informed. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.